Thanks for tuning into Why Influence. My name is Jeremy, and today we're going to be talking about Restream Studio and StreamYard. We're going to be comparing them, so stay tuned. Restream has been around for a while. It integrates with a lot of other platforms, and it allows you to stream to over 30 different social media platforms. StreamYard is a little bit of a newer product and it streams to less platforms, but it has an existing product that works great. So we're going to be pulling these two side by side and comparing them. So let me share my screen here. As a disclaimer, Restream Studio does not have the capability to bring in guests yet. So I have not tested it because I have an interview style podcast. Uh, but once they start allowing guests, I'll create a review and a tutorial for it. Uh, so make sure to subscribe if you'd like to check that out. But basically comparing the two sites side by side, there's a lot of similarities. Uh, you can see that you can change the logos, you can change the overlays, you can change the backgrounds. And those are all things you can do in StreamYard as well. Uh, you can also bring comments onto the page. You can have your name in the corner. Uh, you can put banners up there. Uh, so a lot of the functionality looks very similar between the two platforms. So I'm just going to go through what they're showing on their website. Of course, uh, you can be multicasting with both platforms. Uh, you can do branding, you can add names, uh, you can put little banners there, uh, you can pull in comments, you can pull in comments, uh, you can pull comments from different uh, social platforms. So you can have comments from Facebook, comments from YouTube, comments from Periscope, wherever the comment is coming from, you can pull them in. Uh, it's the same for Restream Studio. Uh, here they've got the banners, here you got banners. Of course, there's the overlays. This is the overlay, so the overlays were up here. Uh, but it looks like there's a lot of similarities between the two platforms. And when you compare pricing... All right, so let's compare the pricing. They both have free options. But keep in mind, Restream Studio does not allow guests yet. And that's a big deal for a lot of people because they have an interview-style live stream, either podcast or show. Um, but if you're not bringing guests on then it's not as big a deal. But if you do have guests, keep that in mind, it's not available yet. It uh, looks like there's a standard one for 16 bucks a month, a basic one for 20, and then the professional's 41, and the professional's 39. So the basic's a little bit cheaper on Restream, and then the professional's a little bit more on Restream. If you care a lot about branding, uh, just keep in mind that the standard one here has Restream branding on it, whereas the basic one on StreamYard has no StreamYard branding involved with it. And then if you are looking to stream to more platforms, uh, Restream goes to 30 platforms, and uh, StreamYard doesn't do as many, and it'll only let you multicast to five simultaneous platforms, whereas Restream has the capability to do uh, quite a bit more than that. I don't have any experience with Restream Studio yet, but once they allow guests, then I'm definitely going to uh, sign up for it and give it a go and create a video for you guys. So if it's something that is interesting and something that you want to keep an eye out on, then go ahead and hit the subscribe button. In the meantime, if you're looking for a product that works right now with interviewing guests, then I definitely suggest StreamYard. I've been using it for a while. I've done about 25 interviews uh, with StreamYard, and I've done about 25 interviews prior to that with Zoom. So I have quite a bit of experience with Zoom and StreamYard, and I have some videos comparing the two and talking about how I'm using StreamYard right now. So there's some little nuances that I found that have saved me time or that I've found ways to work through. And I share a lot of that wisdom in the videos that I've created. So again, thanks for taking the time to tune in today and I look forward to seeing you in the next video. Thanks.